Hey guys, look Fog here and welcome to another FIFA 20 preview and today guys we're the 90 rated premium SBC David Villa. This card looks absolutely phenomenal. I was able to pick up his SBC for 210,000 coins in the three games that I played with. He scored me nine goals and also got me one assist. He's also got a four star big thoughts as well as four star scummers. Moving along to him stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 91 positioning, his 91 finishing as well as his 92 reactions and finally his 95 ball control and did also have the sniper chemistry style applied to this David Villa card. Now, usually I do play four or five games in my reviews today. It's only been three uh, games that I've played with David Villa because uh, obviously it took me a while to complete the SBC. And then also the Copper Libertores final is uh, tonight on between Flamenco and River Plate. So I really want to watch that game. It's on the BBC. I can watch it for free. So I thought I really want to watch that. So that's kicking off pretty soon. So that's why I can only fit in the three games with this David Villa card. But from those three games that I just played, him with he was absolutely phenomenal genuinely up there with some of the best finishes that i've used in fifa 20 he is absolutely fantastic um so i did him for two hundred and ten thousand coins which listen I, I you know i won't lie it's a lot for david via i actually was going to be doing a super juice review on him i was going to be taking this gold card and applying the gold attribute to him um up until this spc got released today because obviously he has announced his retirement from uh, football obviously a fantastic player for Atletico madrid and did, did he play for barcelona i think he played for barca as well but obviously um i kind of remember him when he was at atletico and stuff but um yeah cost me 210k if you don't already have anything in the club it will cost you 270k so he's very pricey for a player from the j1 uh, japanese league having said that obviously yeah, you can link him up with icons. You can link him up, uh, of course, with other Spanish players as well. And um, listen, he's fantastic. Uh, based on how he was to use, I'd honestly give him a 10 out of 10. I'm only going to give him a 9 out of 10 overall purely because of the fact that you're kind of restricted to having to, you know, playing with either icons, playing with other Spanish players. My plan is I'm going to actually take him and use him in my main team. He obviously doesn't fit into my main 11. I'm going to have him as a sub and bring him on for Lewandowski um, because I think he's better than Lewandowski. I think he'd be a better player for, for in, in the team than Lewandowski. And um, yeah, we'll talk about his first, but it's going to be his finishing. Incredible. Nine goals in three games. This man scores just some phenomenal goals. He'll score from the edge of the box. He can score on his left. He can score on his right. He's honestly such a clinical finish. He's fantastic. He's Shot power is great, 85 shot power, 86 long shots. His finishing and positioning are absolutely impeccable. He's got 91 uh, positioning that goes up to 96. His finishing goes to 99 with the sniper chemistry style. It is honestly brilliant how good his finishing was. It was so, so good. His second pros will also be his pace. He is lightning quick, 87 acceleration and 91 sprint speed. He can burst past so many defensive uh, midfielders and, uh, and you know and centre backs and full backs. He is so, so quick on the ball. They struggle to keep up with him. He's really, really quick and obviously 81 stamina as well isn't too bad he's, he's not going to get ridiculously tired towards the back end of games too much because he does play as a striker as well which means that often strikers don't really use up their stamina too much um so again you know pace wise fantastic and stamina isn't an issue it's fine so yeah pace finishing absolutely brilliant and his final pro as well will also be his dribbling again really good if you look at his dribbling that's his agility and balance aren't the greatest don't get me wrong they're still decent 77 agility and 80 balance but that sniper chemistry style takes his agility all the way up to 87 and it also takes his balance up to 85 then his ball control his dribbling and his composure all go to 99 with that sniper chem style even his reactions as well do go up to 97 which is also phenomenal his dribbling is just fantastic so smooth on the ball just oh so quick just brilliant 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 cards i really really enjoyed him and um, obviously he's not going to uh, listen I, I think this card would work well for pretty much everyone the only problem is obviously he doesn't suit most people's teams and being able to fit into your starting 11 obviously he would fit into your starting 11 but chemistry wise you'd struggle to fit him into most of your teams uh, on full chemistry um so there obviously is the issue with that but as a player to use in fifa he is absolutely phenomenal he buries so many chances i'd even use him on eight chemistry um I, I think even on eight chemistry he'd be fine absolutely no question about that um using him on seven chem and, and lower obviously probably not so much but on eight chemistry i i think you can get away with using him on that i think he'd be fantastic he's a really really good player uh, you don't get the best packs in return but um you know and also it wouldn't even be that expensive this spc if it wasn't for the icon spc actually i don't know how long is left on this spc but if the Icon SBC expires before this SBC, don't do this SBC. Wait until 
uh, the Icon SPC has gone. That's if the Icon SPC finishes before this SPC, or even wait until Black Friday if this SPC is still active by Black Friday, and do it then, because during Black Friday, there's going to be so many Lightning Round packs available that 85 rated cards, even if the Icon SPC is still active, the 85 rated cards will go lower, so you'll be able to do them a lot cheaper. If this SPC was released two weeks ago, this would not cost 270k. It's cost about 150k. So make sure, have a look at the SPC, see how long it's, see how long's left on the SPC, and try and see if this SPC is still active until Friday or until Saturday or whatever. Wait until then if you really want, and that, in my opinion, would be the best thing to do because you'll get it so much cheaper. But as a card choosing game, he's absolutely fantastic, and I really, really enjoyed it. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this preview, and I'll see you guys later.